Well, good morning, St Jude's. My name is Adam. I'm the vicar over at the church. And normally on a Thursday, our collective worship would be led by me or Bethan or Neil or Debs in from the church. Uh, there's some exciting things happening in the hall today, so we can't all fit in there. And I don't know whether you know, but at Collective Worship with St Jude's, we look at the same topics every three years. And I wonder if you can remember what you were doing three years ago. We were still in the COVID pandemic and uh, actually St Jude's Church weren't able to come into school for our collective worships. Uh, and so we used to record videos for you in our homes and send them in for you to either watch in your classroom or at home. And three years ago, this topic was covered by Devita, who at the time was an intern with us, and she's still on the staff team uh, with us uh, now. And so I'm going to suggest that we worship with Devita again, uh, and we're going to play that video for you now. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you again very soon. Let's light our candle. God created the heavens and the earth, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Lord Jesus, shine your light through us today. Amen. So today we are looking at the Gospel of Luke, and I'm going to read it to you. We're looking at chapter 17, and it's about a story where Jesus heals ten men. As Jesus made his way to Jerusalem, he went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. He was going into a village when he was met by ten men suffering from a dreaded skin disease. They shouted at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. Jesus saw them and said to them, Go and let the priests examine you, and on the way they were made clean. When one of them saw that he was healed, he went back praising God in a loud voice, and he threw himself to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. Jesus said, There were ten men who were healed. Where are the nine others? Why is it a foreigner the only one who came back to give thanks to God? And Jesus said to him, Get up and go, your faith has made you well. Now this skin disease that these ten men had was something called leprosy. It was a horrible skin disease that we don't have to worry about now because now we can cure it and it's all fine. But back then they didn't have the same medicine and knowledge that we have today. So these men all had to keep a distance from everyone else to make sure no one else got this disease. And this disease caused wounds and stuff under their skin and it was horrible. So these ten men really wanted to be healed. And Jesus does heal them, but only one of them come back to thank him. I've got a few questions for you, so they're going to pop up on this screen, and maybe you just want to take some time to think about them, and then we'll come back.
I like to imagine that the lepers would have been so excited when Jesus healed them because here they've had this horrible skin disease that made them have bumps and wounds in their skin, which meant they couldn't get close to their loved ones. And here Jesus cared enough to heal them. They must have been so happy and full of praise. Yet we only see one of them returning to Jesus and thanking him. And when someone doesn't thank me when I do something caring, it makes me feel really sad. So I'm guessing Jesus probably felt really sad, and maybe even a little bit puzzled of why did only one come back? And as a Christian, I would say that the most caring thing someone has ever done for me is what Jesus did for me on the cross, when he gave his life for me and for you. It means I can now live life to the fullest, completely free and forgiven. It's amazing! I also am surrounded by loving family and friends who do so much for me. They're just so caring and loving. When I was smaller, my parents would walk me to school every single day. They would make food and do the dishes. My friends would make me cards and invite me over to the house. The other day, a friend made, made a cake and gave me some pieces. It was just so caring. It made me so happy. I think one of the most important things when someone shows care and love to us is that we thank them that we share our gratitude with them. One of my very wise friends, her daughter, sent her this text this week, and I want to read it to you because I just thought she just worded it so well. And it's about gratitude. Yes, it's definitely true that gratitude changes the way you view the world. It's so simple, but can completely shift your attitude. You can't be grateful and selfish at the same time. You can't be grateful and moany at the same time. And you can't be grateful and annoyed at the same time. And when I read this, this reminded me that sometimes my siblings could annoy me so much. I don't know if you have siblings and if they annoy you, but I know that I love my siblings a lot, but they could annoy me as well. And when I started focusing on the things they annoyed me, everything about them annoyed me, the small, the big, the in-between, everything, and I would get so frustrated. And as I grew older, I sometimes tried to do this exercise. I wasn't perfect at it, but sometimes I would try and it would really help. And I would try and list five or ten things that I'm grateful for of them. And in the beginning, I would start and I would really have to think and it would be really hard. But I, as I started listing the things that I'm grateful for about them, I felt all my anger and frustration melt away. I don't know if you've seen the film Frozen, but you know that scene with Olaf when he's singing about summer. But he's a snowman, so Olaf starts melting into a puddle because he can't deal with the heat. This is a little bit how I felt. I felt all my frustrations slowly just melting away into, like snow, into a puddle. So maybe when you get really annoyed this week, maybe you want to try and list off some things you are grateful for about them. So in this story in Luke, we see Jesus do a really caring act. He went to heal ten men with leprosy, and only one of them came back to thank him. Maybe we want to have a think about who is it in our lives that care for us, who does so much for us, from small to big things during the day. Maybe we want to go thank them for that. Let's not be like the nine other men who were just kind of rude, really, and walked away without thanking him. But let's just stop and think, what are we grateful for and who, we do, who do we need to thank? And I think that that could be something really caring we do in return. So before I end, let's pray. Oh, one more thing. So I love this book. I don't know if you've heard of this book, but I love it. And it says... Here, I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. So you might feel like you're really small when you express your gratitude to your parents and to your siblings. But remember, the mole felt really small and the boy said, you make a huge difference. And you do, you make a huge difference. So let's close in prayer before we end. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for this story that we read about. And I thank you that you love us the same. Thank you for everything that you do for us. And as we try and be more grateful this week for everyone around us and all they do for us, may we remember that you are always with us and helping us. In Jesus' name, amen.
Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God, who made the universe, the earth, the sun, the moon, and stars, has a place in its heart for me. From the beginning to the end, God will always be my friend, so I can jump and shout, cause God loves me. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is powerful. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is strong, strong. God's love is big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is strong, strong. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is strong, strong. God's love is big, God's love is